All right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Elias Theodoro and smiling Sam Alvey. Well, it's a rare skill for a fighter to be able to stand in the pocket and avoid taking significant damage. But if you've watched the film on this young fighter, that's exactly what he's able to do. He frustrates and exhausts his opponents, and he stays pretty relaxed because he's so defensively sound. He uses movement and defense to set up his offense, consummate sticker and mover. He gets his head off of the center line, and even when you think you have him in a compromising position, more often than not, he's able to swivel that head and get out of harm's way. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He can do it all. If the fight takes place standing or on the ground, he's going to be comfortable in all areas of the game. Good to see this talented fighter make the walk again once tonight. Gotta think he'll look to use his speed and footwork in this fight. Those appear to be his biggest advantages. Maybe not the most powerful guy on the roster necessarily, but exceptionally quick on the feet. Very good at using his feet to set up angles for his offense and will mix it up. A lot of variations to his attacks. Can fight on the outside, but also not afraid to enter the pocket to stick and move. Great job of moving that head off the center line. Just an outstanding striker who brings a lot of different attributes to the table. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He does not mind standing or going to the ground, and this diversity makes him very unpredictable. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, with similar height and the same reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 31 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, smiling, Sam Alvey. Mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 15 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Elias the Spartan, the Apollo! And with the attributes, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, we are underway here from Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Oh, nice punch there by Elias Theodore. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by They Al have started this fight off with a brawl. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Nice. Hurt him with that uppercut. Huge uppercut misses. Oh, high level stuff as he counters with that right hand. That one hurt. Well, he leans right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that bears watching here move. Oh! Big right hand! Huge right hand! This could be it right here. Oh! Powerful left hand. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. He didn't miss with that uppercut! He's tagging him. Under three minutes remain in round one. And he's looking for that left. Landed that one. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. And he switches his stance yet again. Watch the shot here, Joe. Landed that punch flush. Oh, powerful right leg kick. 
How about that shin? And an outside leg kick lands. Just misses with the straight right. Albie gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Elias Theodore. Oh, slip that left hand well, Joe. Great exchanges. Oh, misses with the jab. Nice kick to the midsection. Right hand over the top. Oh, nice straight left. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Second right. round, straight ahead. Right, All right, so that's the end of the round. You know the fighter wants to be given the benefit of the doubt, but he is dealing with a nasty cut on the lip that has only gotten progressively worse as the night has gone on, and the doctor's got to protect the fighter. You know he wants to fight on. The fans don't like doctor stoppages, but if they can't nip this cut in the bud, they're going to have no choice but to stop the fight. And another perfectly placed strike. Some real clean striking on display in that round. There's no answer to it. Just keep doing what we worked on. Strikes, strikes, strikes. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. Starting off this round, you've got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Albie gets caught with that punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Lands a kick, Joe. Effective punch there by Albie. Oh, he brought that offense, Joe. Alvy's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You've got to get that head off the center line. Big kick to the head. He's hurt. He's stunned. Alvy's wobbly. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh! Huge shot there, Lance Flush! Under three minutes now to go here in round two. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh! He's fainting with that kick. Oh, it looked oh. like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he wobbled him. He's got him hurt here. Oh, big left hook there. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, very nice. Oh, Joe, how good is that right hand? Big knee to the body. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, ferocious knees. He is throwing some brutal knees. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Theodore. He's got the plum here. And separate. Final minute. Oh, good left hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Couldn't agree with you more. Alvy gets absolutely torched by that uppercut. That one figures to leave him off. It appears that cut is getting worse. Smiling Sam Alvy gets hit with that hook. Not playing much defense here tonight, Joe. 
Throwing that jab, no good. All right, round three oh, coming up next. Oh, hey, give me some over here. That is the bad cut. I need you to start to take it. Let's see some of the action here. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Some really well-placed strikes on display in that round. Ariane Celeste is with us. as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient. Oh. He's, he's in trouble, he's in trouble. Beautiful Big body, body shot. shot there, too. The left hook hits home. Well, he has landed some good shots. Oh! Jab. Oh, straight right. So he's really starting to play. Oh! He is rocked right here. He's trying to stay up. Now he goes for the clinch now. Looks like a recovery mechanism here, Joe. Excellent work here against the cage, staying busy. He grabs double underhooks here. That knee might have landed there. Hit him with a jab. Look at the bruising on his torso. Straight right, he misses. Oh, slips the punch there, Joe. Smiling Sam Alvey gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Blitz the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Strong transition there, he moves to his back. Alvy gets double underhooks here in the clinch. Normally now he'll try to change levels and go for a takedown. Nice job staying busy here in the clinch. Oh, click him with the jab. 30 seconds now to go on the fight. Eats a, ni a nice right hand. Punches blocked. Hit oh. hard with that hook. Not much time left. Oh, he might be out. All right, so this one goes the distance here tonight as we await the judge's decision. Should be a pretty clear outcome here, I would think. He was able to knock his opponent down in this fight, and perhaps that was enough to get him a 10-8. And ultimately, the judge's scorecards here tonight. Big, big effort out of this fighter in this one. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30 27. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, smiling, Sam Alvey! 
Kingpin. All right, so there he is, your winner by way of decision, and the celebration is on in the corners. They certainly prioritize the finish coming in, but they will certainly take the win and the accompanying win money as well. Going to be very interesting to see how the matchmakers proceed with this fighter after he gets this big win here tonight.